Morning everybody. Today we are near Frenchman Coulee and uh, you're looking at Echo Basin which is a another coulee, um, smaller, and it uh, is uh, uh, next to the uh, next to the Frenchman Coulee. They sit side by side and uh, what you're looking at out there is like this uh, fin, I think they call it a fin of rock that uh, divides the two coulees and we are looking for um, a pit it's like an open pit, some kind of old mining pit. Uh, maybe for dye, I don't know what it's for. Anyway, <laughs> all I know is the soil is very white there and there's a lot of uh, opalized petrified wood. So that is what we wanted to check out today. In the past, we've always come around there to this gap right there on the rocks and then down this dune, which is really steep. I think there's another way we're gonna try today. I'm not sure, uh, but it will get us to the, get us to the top up there. Looks like, there's a set of footprints coming down that dune. That's interesting. Has been windy in a while, I suppose. Huh. Let's take a look around with the sort of the base of that major dune. And uh, that's kind of what we're looking at. Huh. Okay, we thought about going up the dune, but uh, it's, uh, it looks pretty steep, so. I know coming down it is steep enough, but uh, going up it probably be quite a workout. So, so I see the trail up there. We have a waterfall there, I guess in the spring, or maybe it's old from days gone by. I don't know. Okay, we're almost almost to the top. It's the path down there that we came up. Okay, that was. Not bad at all. And normally we go down over there, down the dune. But uh, it was great, I tried this trail. I've seen it before, I always looked, I don't know, I wanna say kinda steep, like it was on the cliff face. But um, yeah, from uh, from here, looks, uh, you know, totally fine. It's a little steep right there, but... Huh. Yeah, you can see the little arch up there. There's another one over there. And then here you can see where the, the... It's really twisted and folded. We were wondering if that was like some kind of a dike. We're not sure. We are hiking along this uh, basalt right here. I have to say, I just absolutely love basalt. I love uh, the history that it tells and uh, like the, the violet, the violet history on the landscape. And, um, and then you can, the geologists can actually tell what was going on. I like that. I like that it tells a story. Okay, we're at the old mining pit. And uh, we have this right here, this opalized petrified wood. Looks like there's a, there was a knot right there. I don't know if somebody unearthed it from that hole right there. But, uh, wow. It just, uh, the ground just glistens, or glitters. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera will catch it. I hope so. This piece right here. Oops. Huh. A lot of it here. Broke into the shards. So here's a a good piece right here that is um see the wood grain in there wow yeah so my understanding is this with this opalized petrified wood is that you have logs that are waterlogged 
in the water, and then you have silica that gets introduced somehow into the water, which gets absorbed by the trees. And uh, silica, it's pretty interesting. I used to make tiles, handmade tiles, and uh, put silica in the glazes and they come out really shiny. Kind of reminds me of how shiny these, uh, these rocks are that we're looking at. This mineral, whatever it is, it um, it's uh, not too. It's not as soft as I would think, as I thought that it looked. But um, it's very pottery. Okay, let's keep going here. I've kind of come out of the area where I'm not seeing a lot of uh, opalized, uh, petrified wood right now. Here's some good stuff over here. Oh wow. Okay, look at this. Jeez. Hopefully the morning sun doesn't wash it out too bad. That's a big piece right there. Jeez. Wow. Can of see the wood grain in there? All right. Last time I was here, I found some pieces that were uh, quite um, quite orange and red. Not a lot, just a few. They were quite striking. Oh, there's very brown. This right here, you definitely see the wood grain in it. And how close I can get. Hmm. This is the back side of it. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that there. Oops, it's very brittle. Yeah, this is a good area right in here. Wow, there's a lot of that stuff. Some of these areas, they are so bright. That almost looks like uh, snow. <laughs> kind of reminds me when I was at the uh, when I was at the uh, White Sands, at least the White Sands National Monument, uh, the sand dunes there in New, in New Mexico. And uh, wow, summertime, it's hot, and uh, but it, the the landscape looks so cold until you get out of the car. Anyway, that's kind of what this reminds me of. I found these right here. It's like a burl. And uh, you can see, looks like there's petrified sap in there or something. Wow. Okay, put that one down. That one right there is. Uh, more see like right in there oh. and that is amazing and then we had uh, I found this in another location 
It's uh, very dark, except for this green area right here. You can see the wood grain. And this piece right here. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get this again, this time with my GoPro. I got it with the uh, phone camera earlier. But um, I just want to capture that, uh, I just want to capture that sap. I'm just mesmerized by that. <laughs> well, okay, here's another one that we found right here. You can see it right here. My hand in there for preference. Jeez, that is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick pan around the area where we've been uh, exploring this morning. Uh, it's been great. Found some great, uh, great opalized petrified wood. And now we're going to head back toward the sand dune. Whew. Okay, we are coming. Dropping down toward the uh, toward the cliff uh, at the top that uh, that sand dune. So I might take the drone out, fly it around, take a look at the uh, area. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay. And we are going to um, head down to the car, which is uh, way out there. You see the blue area. Um, you'll see shiny objects. That's the car. And uh, I tried to fly the drone, but there's some kind of technical difficulties. I think the app's not working or uh, my phone's blocking the settings. I don't know. Something's going on. And then I got people down there. So I can't fly it over the top of people. So anyway, so I'm kind of disappointed, but that's where it goes. I'm just going to record this as we hike here for a minute. It's along this uh, trail right here. You can see it uh, kind of goes along this cliff right there. It's not too steep though, but I, know, I fell. I don't know, it sure hurt. Oh yeah. My, oh my. Whew. It's a pile. It's all slipping apart. Yeah. It's like shale. It's like the lava just stretched as it cooled. Whew. Wow. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, we had a great, a great morning uh, looking at uh, and finding uh, opalized. Uh, petrified wood. Uh, it was uh, really, really great. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. Um, otherwise, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I will see you next time.